Whoa. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Grow Rugby Playoff Edition. Hey guys, we got a great weekend set up for you. This is the weekend that we've all been waiting for. Playoff weekend, and it's coming down to it. We're going to be taking a look at the club division, Division 2, here in the South. We got the True South Rugby Championships this weekend, and we have the Carolina Union Rugby Championships, as well as the Florida Union Rugby Championships. So you guys sit tight, because we're going to break these down for you. We're going to take you up to Huntsville, Alabama, where we have the first matchup, Chattanooga versus Baton Rouge. Now, if you didn't realize, Chattanooga has been absolutely dominant this season, ending up a perfect 10-0 and on the season, coming out as the number one seed in the West and ranked number eight overall in Rugby Mag's Division II rankings. They have absolutely been dominant this season, outscoring their opponents 532 to 83 points. That's huge. On the other side, you have Baton Rouge, who's coming off of a 5-5 five and five season. They started off slow with losses against Knoxville and uh, early losses against Jackson and Birmingham, but they've gotten stronger and stronger as the season has progressed. This will be a huge rematch game for this both of these teams, where Chattanooga took the game last time 60-11. to 11. Chattanooga will be favored in this game to win it 36 to 27. But look for Baton Rouge to be able to pull the upset. But the favorite has to go to Chattanooga. This will be definitely a much closer match than it was the last time they played. Players that you need to pay attention to will be number 8 for Chattanooga, Pat Flynn. This is a huge wrecking ball of an 8 man. Absolutely strong upper body, gets slow, and knows how to plow through players. The other person for Baton Rouge, number nine, Travis Gooch. This is the man out of New Zealand, has been showing exactly what he can do and what it means to really play Kiwi ball. Look for him to not just be able to be the best passer on the team, but to be one of the better tacklers on it as well. On the other side for the game for the True South Championships, we have Birmingham, number one from the west side, taking on Knoxville, number two from the east side. Birmingham is 6-4 and four on the season, having outscored their players, their opponents 212-150. to 150. They are going to be coming off of a two-game losing streak, coming against Chattanooga, losing to them 23-22 two weeks ago, and Memphis, losing to them 38-29. Now, Knoxville, on the other side, is also 6-4 and four on the season. They have been outscored 170 to 214 points this season. This will also be a rematch game for both teams coming from the first game of the season where Knoxville beat Birmingham just by two points. Birmingham <coughs> will be favored to win this game, 33 to 17. So watch out for players number eight for Birmingham, Brandon Eric Smith. Another strong eight-man, just like Pat Flynn from Chattanooga, runs through the lines, another uh, uh, select player who will do damage. And for Knoxville, look out for their fullback, number 15, Pagantis Zerfos, Zerifos, who will be the leading, who's been one of the leading scorers for Knoxville. This will be another close game, but like we said, Birmingham is favored to win this game, 33-17. to Taking it up north, we have the Carolina Rugby Union playing their actual championship game in Charlotte this weekend. Coming off a long playoff game where you had semifinalists, Carolina Union will be represented by 11-0 Charlotte and 10-1 Atlanta Old White. This will be a rematch game for both of these teams. Charlotte defeated Old White 45-12 back in November 9th, 2013. Regardless, both teams will be a component of the Sweet 16s regardless of whatever the results are. But what will end up being the determinant will be having the easier schedule going afterwards. Charlotte is definitely favored in this game to be able to take this. Looking for the win 41-5 in Charlotte's favor. 
Look out for Charlotte's number seven, the flanker, Chris Millage. And for Old White, look out for number 13, their outside center, Michael Aaron. Held in Claremont, Florida, we have number one seed, 10-1 Miami Men's Rugby, will be facing number two seed, 8-3 Fort Lauderdale. Now, it's no surprise that South Florida teams will be taking over for the Florida Rugby Union Champion State Championships, as South Florida seems to be the hubbub for f strong rugby down in Florida. But Miami has been absolutely dominant this entire season. They've outscored their opponents 274 points to 108, so you know they have both offense and defense. Their only loss coming against the Tampa Bay Crew, which they were able to get their vengeance back last week for the first round of the playoffs, beating them 20-14. to now, Fort Lauderdale has outscored their opponents 273 to 187 points. Even though they have three losses on the season, they have not been flagrant or slacking at all at this point. They did, however, lose to Miami on January 18th, losing 30 to 8. This will be a huge revenge match for Fort Lauderdale. But Fort Lauderdale has also managed to have one other revenge match, just like Miami. And they had it against Boca Raton, where they won the first round 20 to 17. This looks like it will probably be a second chance for Fort Lauderdale, and I expect Fort Lauderdale to be the favorite in this game, winning over Miami 24 to 17.